video guys what we'll be discussing in this video is basically the wiring of Arduino to a DMD board which is the PTN board popularly called right now this is the circuit diagram we have on the screen most of you requested for this video said you needed the diagram so here it is I've gone ahead to give you this you can also find it on the Google image for this simple sketch so as you can see the board is numbered in this manner one two three four it is numbered on both sides not directly so you have to follow it carefully from theory to 15 here are all grounded so you can see 3 5 7 9 11 13 15 they are all grounded one one which is the enable key sent to p9 of the Arduino Uno the second one here is connected to pin 6 then pin 8 is connected to the so let's just trace it so you see it while well, I say it, get it this is it so pin 8 is connected to pin 13 of the Arduino Uno while pin 10 is connected to pin 8 pin 12 is connected to pin 11 so basically that is how you connect it to the Arduino Uno you might be wondering why is this circuit here this is RTC circuit a timer circuit which we'll be using along after this tutorial to design the digital clock but you don't have to bother yourself about that so once this circuit diagram has been wired as you see it here the next thing is to upload the code So this is the basic code we'll be using for this display test. Basically, this is the display test here. These are the libraries we need to get this running: the SPI library and the DMD. So we have to make sure these two are included in the script in order for it to run. So here is the code. What you just need to do right now is connect the Arduino Uno, which are already connected. And the next thing you do is, is hit the upload button so you can see here the upload is ongoing once it is done it will be indicated it is done as you can see here the code is fully up uploaded to Arduino the next thing right now we need to do is to connect the Arduino to the DMD board which we are going to be doing right away so Hello guys, it's your man Webmaster. What we are going to be talking about today is your matrix display. So, what we have here is a P10 display board. So, we'll be using this to display our test. Basically, what we'll be doing is a scroll test. Test our scroll from this axis down. So, here is our Arduino Uno board. Here, as you can see this is a little connection i had to do myself it's a diy connection here is the soldering i'm going to give you this connection circuit diagram so you know how to do yours yourself this is just done to make it easy to connect between this ptn board to this arduino nano board as you can see so basically right now what we have is the connection between here and the nano board I've already done the connection of which I'm going to be taking you step by step on how to do it and even the codes which will be uploaded into this UNO to drive this circuit I will also put it in the description below including the circuit diagram itself so you can follow step by step and recreate what we have here so basically what we'll be doing right now I'm just going to connect it first and foremost I'm going to be using this power supply this is my DIY battery pack this is 8.4 volts as you can see it has its own BMS inbuilt here that help to regulate the charges in this battery so I'm going to be using it alongside the UNO so I'm not going to be connecting to PC right now so I'm just going to do the connection so I'll, I'll pause it and connect it 
other ways let's try to do that i've already connected it as you can see there you go now after connection took two seconds for this board to drive as you can see it's displaying welcome to google technologies as you can see those a bit not too clear so right now i'm going to pause this video and use my power supply here to power this because right now the uno is powering this circuit with five volt which i need it to get to six volt in order to make it very sharp so i'm just going to pause this and power this up by connecting this to the back of this display board as you can see here that was the power supply point for the external power so whenever you're building using this dot matrix p10 board always endeavor to power it separately using a 5 a 6 volt power supply or a 5 volt that has a higher current rating so right now i'm going to be using this box as a power supply as you can see let me show you there you go output 5 volt 70 amps this can power a whole b board of this so let's just pause the video like i said so we'll power it up of which i'm also going to be trying this on this other matrix these two here are red so let's give it an external power supply and see if there's an improvement so guys i've gone ahead to connect this as you can see it's connected behind it now this circuit is on but it's not displaying that is because it's already recognizing the external power supply which i already looked because the common on this arduino board is still engaged so i'm going to turn on my ups there you go so ups has been turned on so There you go power supply is on now so you can see it's very bright now and the right up are visible enough for you to read on the screen so this is basically how you can power your p10 matrix board using an external power supply